I'm Catherine. I'm from Little Things to Cherish. I'm based in Cleveland, at Lancashire. And I'm an artist who creates pieces of work in an array of rainbow colours. I settled the business in 2016, mainly for my daughter, who has learning difficulties, and I needed to be at home for her. And I've always had a love of art and craft. I started doing artwork and selling them through social media and doing furniture with storing. It all changed really in February 2017 when a child I used to teach died of a brain tumour. Um, on the day of his funeral, it was a really wet and gloomy day. When we came out of the church, a rainbow just lit up the skies and one of Charlie's friends, Ethan, said, look, it's Charlie letting us know he's okay. I think that moment really will stay with me forever. Sometime later, Sue contacted me and we waited to raise money for Brian House, which is where Charlie spent the last of his days. And asked me if I could create something that they could auction off to raise money for Brian House. I sat and contemplated for quite a long time, really, what, what I could paint. And the day of the funeral flashed back to me. And I, I just knew, to be honest, I started off painting a bunny that turned into a hare. But it had all the colours of the rainbow. And everybody loved it. From that day on, my art changed. Everything I do now is in colour. And I suppose there's a bit of Charlie in every little piece. Anything that, any products that I sell that have the hair image on, that still goes to Brian House in memory of Charlie. Somebody will send me a picture of their pet and tell me a bit about the character of the pet because I'd like to get some of that into the picture if I can. I set to work and I draw it out and then I use masking fluid to mask out a lot of the, the white that I want to add the texture and then I use all the colours, watercolours. After I've done the watercolour I take away the masking fluid and then start adding the inks and the finer details such as the eyes and all my work finishes off with splashes of colour everywhere. I then go through a process of where I take my illustrations over to the printer and he scans the images in and he's able to, through using a hot press and screen printing, print the illustrations onto other products such as cushions, key rings, mugs, coasters, t-shirts. We're moving forward into possibly new items which is quite exciting, getting some sweatshirts and tea towels, aprons. The sky's the limit really as to what we can print on. The easy BKM for doing the pet portraits is that people can upload their pets, picture them and then I receive it, I receive the order, I'm able to print off the picture so I know what I'm working with. They get to keep the original piece and then they can order that piece on lots of other products. The business has just grown really goes worldwide now. I'm reaching more clients. EKM works for me because it's a Lancashire based company. I was able to go to the offices, put a face to my account manager, Jack, who is just brilliant. I could tell them how rubbish I was, that I wasn't techie at all. And they was able to calm me down and talk me through the process. When I was on the phone, I know who I'm talking to. He knows me. It takes the, the everyday hassle out of it. Before, I was having to contact customers, sending emails and messages back and forth. All that's gone now. So the time difference that it saved is, is unreal, really. It gives me time to create my work and put my love into creating them pieces of art instead of having to chase all the, the business side of it. 